Um, thank you, Angel. Always so kind and so thoughtful. Um, I, I did want to make one correction for you, Angel. It's not that I have to wait till I pay off the house. I, I, own, the, I own the loan myself. So it's a whole new, it's a whole different system. But I own the loan and I own it at three and a half percent fixed. So if you invest money and you get seven or eight or nine or ten, and you pay off something three and a half, how many of y'all would agree that's not a great financial decision? Right. You're better off paying on the three and a half percent because you can take the same money instead of paying the house off and invest it and get a much bigger return. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so we're all on the same page. Okay. So listen, this is the the biggest question people ask is, how do you really do legal shield? And listen, this is why GEDs can have success doing this. Because it's all about simplicity. Is there any way, Brandon, we can make that fit on the screen properly? Right. Because it's it's like it's a little bit too it's not no, it's not the screen, it's actually the setting on the computer. It's a GED thing. Oh my God. <laughs> So I don't I don't need it right this second. Just you know, so look, the, the reason the reason that, that, that legal shield is so much fun to me is because of its simplicity. Because somebody said on the stage earlier, one of the tips, which I thought was so good, and they said they're not attached to the results, they're attached to the activity, right? Because here's what happens: some people get so petrified of the results and they're not the results, they don't do the activity. And that's that's like you're not gonna have your results if you don't do the activity. If you, you know, Dave Savola, top money earner, said, do two presentations a day. And this is back when we had to do it with a black and white brochure. There was no media. There was no prospect on Legal Shield. It was a black and white brochure. You had to sit down with somebody and do that. And he said, do two presentations a day. And I said, Dave, why two a day? And he said, because it doesn't make a difference what they say. If you do two a day for 30 days, you'll have done 60 of them. And you'll be so good at your presentation, everybody's going to start buying it. And I went, oh, that makes sense. So I'm going to talk about Hitachi. So, <laughs> and by the way, Angel, I can do it too. Aki. Pete, <laughs> you hear that? Aki. That's what I learned in my Spanish class in high school. Whenever they called my name, I said Aki, and then I put my head down and went to sleep. <laughs> but I am committed in my life to, to learn Spanish. Okay? So... So anyway, so so uh, so the thing I love about Legal Shield is its simplicity, right? Because what do we really have to do? You know, I see too many people working too hard to try to convince people that you know why they should do this, what makes this so great. Listen, professionals sort, amateurs convince, right? Your only goal is to get information in front of people and let them get their questions answered with a three-way call. And then turn around and do it. Now, watch what I mean about the system. Because so let's just say, for instance, that Justin Timbershake and I, I'm talking to Justin Timbershake, and Justin's my prospect, right? So if I sit down in front of Justin, now listen, if you're, if you're going to sell somebody a membership, you want to be able to professionally sell a membership. Don't hear me wrong. But if I'm going to go sit down and I'm trying to recruit Justin, then what I want to be able to do is to show him the information, right? So... I go to Prospect by Legal Shield, send him a resource, send him a PDO video, and let him watch the presentation, right? So, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So when he turned around and has questions, when I call him back to follow up, the first thing I'm gonna do is text my client and say, hey, I'm getting ready to do some follow-up calls, are you available? Great, watch for my number. That way, if they're doing something else, they see my phone, and they know they've got a three-way call. So I turn around just as I got a couple questions. I said, you know what? That's a great question. I want to show you why people are having success without having to learn everything in legal shield. Because it's system dependent, not knowledge dependent. So I say, let me show you what I mean. And I dial, I do a three-way call and say Michael Dorsey. And Michael's already expecting my call because I told him I was going to do three-way calls. So I tell him quickly, his name is Justin Timbershake. He's watched the PBO video. That's all Michael needs to know at that point. So when I bring back on, I say, so Justin, you had a couple questions, which I thought were great questions. I've got in front of this my business partner, Michael Dorsey, and Michael's going to answer these questions for you. Here's the reason I'm going to do that, because I want you to see how our system works so you can make money without knowledge. Watch this. Go ahead and answer your questions, Justin. So he asked questions. Michael's going to befriend him real quick, 
So Justin, tell me more about you. He's not going to go, so what do you need? You know, he's going to befriend him and get him to know, like, and trust him in a short period of time. So when it's done, here's what Michael would say in this situation. Michael would say, so Justin, let me ask you something. When Larry introduced you to Legal Shield, did he tell you all about Legal Shield, or did he just send you a video? And he says, no, he sent me a video. Oh, sorry, my bad. So he just sent me a video. And he says, and when Larry, when you asked Larry questions, did he answer them, or did he three-way me? In? He said, no, he three-wayed you in. At which time Michael would say, Larry knows all the answers to your questions, Justin. He already knows those questions, answers. But the reason he did this to you was to show you that you didn't need to know the answers. So let me ask you something, Justin. If you had a mobile app that would send the same video to Larry, or same send video to your prospect that Larry sent to you, could you send an email or a text with the video link if it was provided for you? Could you do that, Justin? Yeah. Sure. And when you follow up your prospects, could you put them on a three-way call to Larry? So... Do you see an opportunity for yourself here? Because here's what the end result is. You're going to get paid for a presentation you didn't do and questions you didn't answer. Because it's system-driven, not knowledge-driven. How many times could you duplicate it? You can shoot a video, put them on a three-way call, let them make an informed decision. They can say yes or no either way. That's the system. You want to teach people how split-second marketing Bill's up. Darnell herself posted in today's Facebook page about our new recruit that he just brought. In the first 30 days, through team building, they became executive directors. Okay? That's nothing more than split-second marketing. If that, if that couple would have had to learn everything before they got started, they'd have never gotten even out the front door. That's why it works so well. So, put information in front of the people. Let them get the questions answered. Let them make an informed decision. And just do it again and again and again. The reality of it is, is you, this is the question that I got put on my desk by my trainer, and it said, how much money will I make today if my team does what I did? To me, that's an accountability statement. It says, what are you doing today, and if your team's doing what you're doing, how much money would you make, right? So this is an accountability for you. See, have fun because the one thing you'll never run out of is people, and that's all we need to have success is just people. So. Let's talk about the importance of fast start training. And I'm sorry if you all can't see this part of the bottom to it, but if you recruit one person with the right plan, because you need $60 in premium and one recruit. So in a family plan situation, $24.95, $24.95, and you've got to have the home business supplement if you're an associate. If you're an associate in this room right now, and you're not spending $9.95 a month for the home business supplement, you need to do that upgrade immediately. Let me tell you why. Because in the family plan, we have IRS audit coverage. That covers W-2 audits. It does not cover Schedule C and Schedule E. And if you get audited by the IRS, they are going to be asking for your Schedule C and Schedule E because that's where you itemize your deductions. The $9.95 a month home business supplements, one of the things it provides is Schedule C and Schedule E audit protection. You remember the IRS audit I had? And back in 2002, if I wouldn't have had the home business supplement, I would have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on attorney's fees to go do what this guy did. But because I spent $10 a month, that was all covered. So if you're going to be in business, that's part of the plan that you need to protect yourself and your business entity. So if they buy $24.95 legal, $24.95 IP shield, and 995 uh, the home business supplement, that's 5985. The computer rounds up, it's gonna be 60. You recruit them, 60 and one, you just fast start qualify with one person. That's how fast you can build, right? And if it's not a family plan, then you're gonna have 3490 plus 995, right? Which is 4485, plus you're gonna need $15 more. But you know what? We don't really have a $15 plan, so you can sell a $24.95 legal plan. Now you'll have $70 in premium, and you're on your way because you recruited that associate. Either way, you're good. So one recruit and $60 in premium advances you. How are we doing, guys? No. No. Bob, just throw it up there. I'll work with it. Okay, there we go. So that's what that's that's what that slide said. So 
Everything in life is really based on how we think, okay? Because thinking is everything. 1989, I filed Chapter 7 bankruptcy. You know what? I'm not proud of that, but I did. Chapter 7. That meant I was broke, okay? So I filed Chapter 7 bankruptcy. 2014, I was featured on Fox Business News for my financial success, okay? What was the difference? Because in 1989, I still had the mindset, as long as they were paying me, I could live check to check and have credit card debt. I lived on 125% of my income. I mean, how many people besides me ever live check to check? Anybody ever live check between check? Let me explain what 